these are just some of my old notes from my studies in cyber security these are from some of the first modules i've ever done and i'm just going over it in the hope that it might help you on your journey so we're going to be talking about converting decimal into binary and we can tell that we're talking about decimal because we've got a subscript 10 next to the number if it was a uh, binary number we'd have a subscript 2 next to the number so we want to convert this decimal number into binary and that's what I'm going to be talking through today so to convert our decimal number into binary we need to know about binary place values there are 8 bits to a byte and those are the values right there on the screen so we take our 157 and we take away 128 and because we can take away 128 we put a 1 underneath that that leaves us with 29 left over now we go to the next binary place value of 64 we only have 29 so we can't take away 64 so that's a 0 we move on to the next place value that's 32 and we don't have enough there so that's also a 0 we move on to the 16 and we have enough so with 29 take away 16 and we have 13 left over move on to the next place value that is 8 and then we're doing 13 take away the 8 that's 5 we've got left over so that's a 1 because we've managed to do that we move on to the 4 and we've got 5 left over so we can do that so we've only got 1 left we go to the 2, we obviously don't have enough, that's a 0. We go to the 1, we have 1 left over. So we've got a 1 under there. And then that should show us our binary number. So our binary number is 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. And not forget the subscript 2, because we need to know what would, what it's been turned into, which is a binary number base 2. That's just a short little clip from me, hope it helps, if not future me, look at this. <laughs> 